Hi, this is Amir Khan, and you're listening to Akshay on Sabras Radio. Now you mentioned Kamas Kamat. Now that was obviously, you, you know, the, the 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 film that kind of brought you to all our attention uh, yeah. world worldwide. Now even back then, when you were making, I suppose, your typical Bollywood films, in your mind, did you think, you know what, I, I want to do something different? Mm. Was that in your mind even at that young age? Well, I think. Uh, I think quite naturally my uh, sensibility is a little different from what the typical mainstream has been all along. So even when we were making Kayamat Se Kayamat Tak, mm. uh, we had a lot of trouble releasing the film because the market at that time didn't have any faith in the film. Yeah, it we the film was ready and for a year, twelve months it took us to find distributors for the film. Wow. Yeah. So nobody wanted to buy the film. Nobody wanted to release it because they didn't think it was a film that. audiences would like and it wasn't typically mainstream yeah uh it had a different sensibility so right from my first film i have actually been working on films which uh well which have been rather successful so i'm i'm really happy about that mm-hmm. but they've not been typically mainstream some of them have like raja hindustani is like hardcore mainstream gajni is hardcore hardcore mainstream yeah fana is also yeah but films like jo jeeta wahi sekandar or rangila or sarfarosh uh you know these are films that are not your typical mainstream mm. dil hai ke manta nahi mm. uh they have a diff- slightly different sensibility uh and then you know with films like lagan or rang de basanti or tare zameen par these are really breaking the mold of mainstream cinema yeah. and and they were still really successful so i'm i'm really glad about that it's it's because of you amir if anybody well, else I, said no <laughs> I, i don't think no i i don't think that's true you know the thing is that yeah. uh i'm aware that i get a lot of the credit but the truth is yeah that you know a, a film turns out well when the entire team works well absolutely yes and and it's uh, you know i i'm really fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with such talented people mm-hmm. uh and and the foremost of any team is always a director so it's it's been my good fortune to work with some really talented people ashutosh gwarekar mm. uh, rakesh om prakash mehra you know john matthew who made sir farosh yeah absolutely these are very talented people so i think the credit of these films really goes to the directors and to all of us who worked on them you know i'm not i'm not alone in that yeah now uh, now amir you beefed up for gajni now can i just say absolutely rocking movie then you slimmed down became like this geek for three idiots once again yeah. another absolutely fantastic film i mean you you've got this whole kind of method madness like robert de niro going on i mean well <laughs> <laughs> some would say some would say is it necessary for you to do this well i think uh, you know i enjoy my work and i i uh, i love my work and you know this is how i like doing it i think when i have to look a particular way for gajni i work towards that mm-hmm. and then uh, it was quite heartbreaking for me to let go of my physique after working so hard on it <laughs> so i was cursing uh, you know raju hirani <laughs> but you know i had to play this geek of a character in in 3 years and yeah. so i had to lose all of my muscle so i guess you know you, that's you, how this profession is uh, are you are you planning any any other kind of method madness for anything else coming up in in the well i i don't know what i'm going to do next uh, you know when i get back uh, back home uh, the yeah. number of scripts waiting for me so i'm going to start reading the scripts and let me see what excites me next yeah. i mean what is it when you when you pick up a script you know i'm sure you get like shown so many scripts you know day and day out. what what is it that you look for what what excites amir khan well you know uh, it's difficult to say beforehand you know it's it's when i'm reading a script i'm like the audience watching a film hmm. so i'm experiencing it for the first time and if it connects with me if it moves me if it makes me laugh or cry and entertains me engages me yeah uh then then i go for it you know it's i i just react instinctively to the script and now this may be a bit of a hard question i, I don't know but is there a role or a character or you know that you're dying to play which and, and nobody has put you know a decent script in front of you you know for for that for that subject um well you know the thing is that i the, i don't work that way i i don't work in in the manner i mean i i don't pick a character and say okay i want to play a character like this now let's get something written around it okay i don't work like that because i feel that then the first step is not organic mm. i i believe that a film should start with the writer thinking of an idea okay and then he develops it and director comes in and they work on it together mm. 
and then you have a complete script yeah and then if i fit into it then i should be in it yeah. and and so that i feel you know a film should take this natural organic uh form so i can get a film written around a character but i don't think that's such a smart idea yeah now you know what i've not seen you play ahmed is a villain mm-hmm. i don't think i've seen you play oh. i don't think i've seen you play yeah. out and, an out and out villain in a movie oh, I mean, well i i have i've i've had some negative shades in uh, a film i did which was quite an offbeat film called 1947 earth i remember that yes so, yeah so that that character kind of transforms into someone who's not very nice towards yeah. the end of the film yeah But I know what you mean like hardcore villain I haven't played and yeah that would be a great one yeah. Yeah there we go. Well, you know, we'll we'll watch out. We'll watch out for you, you know. I I don't think anything is impossible for you. <laughs> now 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 you're here in the UK for a little while. I know yeah. you're going to be heading up to Bradford I think next week. Are you going to the National Media Museum? That's right. I'm yeah. going there. I mean apart from that what what else, what else have you got planned while while you're here in the UK? Well, we have a premiere on the 20th over here and the film release on the 24th and uh, there's another screening i'm attending um uh, so i'm attending a few screenings as one at bafta one at um uh, bradford one at um feltham is okay. that what's called yeah all right yeah so uh, i'm i'm doing these special screenings before the release yeah uh to get to you know meet my audience they watch the film i do a q and a after that and mm. so that's always fun now and you, now you know while you're here in the uk i'm here right you know i mean obviously it's not all work 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 i mean do you do you venture out You know do you well, just do you just walk around the streets you know or do you do you have to wear a disguise or you know are you able to just go <laughs> go, go into the shopping center and you know I don't know just just browse around without being recognized Well uh not not here in London I mean here there are a lot of people who do recognize me and and I'm thrilled about that so yeah. uh no complaints but um uh, but I do uh, like I go to Hyde Park sometimes and you know just sit by myself Yeah or just go for walks here and there you know places where when i want to be alone yeah uh, places where people might not recognize me yeah okay. but london is a great place I, i i always enjoy coming here and um it has a lovely energy and i always you know have a great time when i'm here now i mean now i i know you've been in back to back interviews all day today now is there one question you sat there thought why is nobody asking me this one question what question <laughs> what question would you have loved to have been asked today ah. I don't know if there's anything left actually. Kuch bhi to hoga. There must be something. Uh, well, well, I don't know. Um No, I don't know. I th- I think I've been asked so many questions. I I I don't know if there's anything left really. <laughs> Now, listen, I'm I I know you're very busy, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to wrap things up a little bit. Now, yeah. for all all for all the fans and all the listeners who who are listening, um mm. What message do you have for them? What would what would you like to say to the janta out there in the UK? Well, I just want to give them my love and I want to thank them for the kind of, you know, support they've given my films and and for the love they've given me. I'm I'm really grateful for that and I really uh, cherish and value the relationship that I have with my audience. So, thank you guys and uh, I hope you I hope you like people when you see it. Now, I I'm it. I know you're reluctant to accept the words <laughs> but I hope <laughs> that you'll graciously accept the word from Subrus Radio for being the totally wickedest and the baddest actor on behalf of Subrus Radio. <laughs> thanks, thanks you. I I will surely accept it. Thank you. <laughs> Amit, thank you so so much. You take care.